it's Sunday morning, March 5th. The computer, I put the, name, the video in there. I had a comment picker. There weren't that many comments, so, but some lucky guy won. Before I tell you who won, uh, I'm going to show you what actually they won because I added some stuff to it. I just went, was going through the shop today, building that box for my son. Hold on. You know, I was going through adding stuff in here for my son and putting wrenches in and adding sockets and whatever, whatever stuff I would, extra stuff I found. And so I would clean and still continually find duplicates of stuff. And it's just cheaper stuff. But there are, like I say, there's, there's craftsmen's in here, SKs and stuff. So here's the sockets that they won. Here's the knife. Made out of a wrench, they won. I found these plastic uh, quarter-inch drive holders. And then I went through and found all the triplicates and duplicates or whatever wrenches I had. There's some good ones in here, and there's a lot of cheap ones in here, like uh, this one here. I think this one was made by Proto. Anyway, so they got wrenches now. I found an older Craftsman ratchet I had it needs a little lubrication in here so the guy that I wanted to put a little WD in there and I'm sure it'll be fine it's just a little bit it's been sitting forever okay so now you got a ratchet 3 8 ratchet I found a uh, pair pair liars there you go a cheap uh, adjustable wrench so who won he won that it's a major award hey. the extra bonus round with everything uh, Justin Walking Stick, you're the winner. He said his uh, little brother needed tools or wanted tools to work with him. So give the tools to him. Justin, you keep this. Sharpen it up or don't sharpen it up. Use it as a pry bar or a knife or something to open up packages with. And that's my way of giving back. I just want to tell you guys thank you very much uh, for watching the channel. And uh, I'll be going to Harbor Freight this morning. And before I end this video, I'll show you what I'm going to put. I'm going to go to Harbor Freight, find something that we're going to sell, and I'll put that nut sell giveaway that I'll put on for the next contest in two weeks. But before I end this, I, I need to tell you a quick little story of two things. Yesterday, I posted a bunch of different videos of us working. Yesterday was Saturday. We only work a half a day, but we were... We were pushing it, pushing it. We didn't get home till four. I don't like to do that because we already work five and a half days a week. So that made it basically a full six days a week, but we're blessed, all right? Some of you guys are in bad weather now and stuff that you can't get out and work, if whatever kind of work you do outside, and I understand it. So I'm not bitching or anything. I'm just saying I'm getting a little older. Thank God I have my son because he pushed it. He didn't complain or anything. He just pounded it out. We had two big stumps that I'll be showing you on Monday that we didn't do because they were still flushing them. And I didn't want to wait around. They had to sharp, sharpen saws and all. I just said, we'll just come first thing Monday. All right, that's the one. The second thing is a weird thing happened this week. I got a message on Facebook Messenger from an old fireman that I worked with back when I was a private uh, promoting, studying to promote to a lieutenant. We worked together different shifts. Super, super guy. His last name's Cotherman. He he messaged me on Facebook and said he was looking for a 252, and he lives further. He lives out in in a an area where those lakes and stuff like that. And I don't go out to that area, so he was he messaged me. He said he was looking on YouTube to learn more about a Vermeer 252. And he's watching this guy, and the guy looked familiar, spoke with a New York accent, and then he finally realized it was me, <laughs> Adam. And we had to work together since I was in my early 30s. He's retired now. He's a retired captain also. And it's amazing how God works. It brought it all around in a circle, and I told him if he finds a machine, I'll look at it and and. Even if he buys it and needs a lot of work, I'll walk him through the whole thing like I do with you guys. So that's how small of a world it is. And I just truly feel blessed in helping you guys if I do. 
And the guys that do always comment, thank you. And the guys that put the likes, thank you. And the guys that give me the thumbs down, you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry you don't like me or my son. I can't help it. Not everybody in the world likes everybody. But anyway, like I say, it's a weird world, but I'm very happy that I'm in this world. And I've my goal before I die is to help as many people as I can in anything. Whether it's talking about money, talking about cars, talking about machinery, talk, you know, about anything. I don't really talk politics. I'm sorry. Two things I don't talk about is politics and religion. And my father taught me that because some people get very, very upset and they can't really hold, let's just say, a stable or just say a friendly conversation about stuff. All right, like in those subjects. So those two subjects I really walk away from, you know. And um, But I'm blessed, you know. And thank you very much. Have a great Sunday. Today, we're going to the movies. I'm taking my wife to brunch. We're going to the movies. We're going to go see that movie, uh, Creed III. Um, interesting fact about myself. I used to be a boxer back in my early 20s before I was a fireman. I, I went to a gym every night. I was a boxer. Um, if your kids are into wrestling or boxing or any type of physical type sports, wear the right gear. There's better headgear now in boxing. I'm just summing this up. Than when, back when I was out there, buy your kid the best gear there is. If they're wrestlers, make them wear the ear things. I know plenty of old guys that the, the ears are cauliflowered. As far as me boxing, I, I think I broke my nose twice and I straightened it myself which I should have went to a doctor, but back then when I was young, I didn't have insurance, so I did the old whatever. Now I breathe funny at night and stuff like that. You pay the price. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. It's a very, very hard sport. Uh, interesting fact, you know, all of you know who Mike Tyson is. Back when Mike Tyson was really an up-and-coming, I mean, I'd say in the first few years of his career, when he was pounding out everybody, I was actually a heavyweight sparring partner for James Quick Till Tillis, who was the first one to go eight or ten rounds, rounds not being knocked out by Mike Tyson. I paid the price. They brought in all us heavyweights, um, and I wasn't really a heavy heavyweight. I was 235 pounds, dropped my weight all the way down to about 200, 191 to 200. I fluctuated, and so actually I would be classified as a cruiserweight than a than a then a heavyweight, and they brought us all in on Saturdays to get him prepared to fight Mike Tyson, and I paid the price. I was basically a five-round punching bag. And, uh, you know, I, crazy thing is I enjoyed it, but um, I feel the pain the older I am now for between the fire department, boxing, and all the other crazy stuff I did as a kid. So just an interesting fact. God bless you. If you're going to do any kind of martial arts, boxing, or whatever, wear the right stuff, Take care of your body. Your body tells you don't do it or you're wore out. Have a good one, guys.